Hello Mundelein, I'm Eric Schwenk. I'm back with another Mundelein Minute, a video recap of the Mundelein Village Board meeting on August 12, 2019. I aim to cover everything in under a minute, but let's be honest, that's, that, that hasn't happened in quite a while. But in keeping with the theme, we'll put a minute on the clock and let's get started. Taking a look at finances first, the board paid $9,829.36 to AT&T and AT&T Mobility. Approved a purchase order for paving at the new Public Works and Engineering Facility totaling $120,000. Approved a change order for steel joists and deck work totaling $70,346. And paid remaining bills in the amount of $1,456,997.06. Mayor Lentz introduced our newest police sergeant, Sergeant Witt, and our newest hires, Officer DeStefano and Officer Fries. The board approved the Mayor's Arts Commission appointment of Kelly McCoy, and the Mayor issued two, two proclamations, one to the Mundelein Mustangs 12U Travel Baseball Team, and the second to Riley Palm for his first place IHSA State Wrestling wins in 2018 and 2019. The board voted to approve the use of the Village Hall Plaza by Las Mugoyas Mexican Grill for their 2019 Nuestras Fiestas Patrias event. Additionally, the board voted on a redevelopment agree agreement concerning the old Village Hall property. The motion passed 4 to 2. Going a bit quicker now, the board voted to approve the business incentive grant in the amount of $1,847.50, denied a motion concerning a grant application for the Lakefront Park on Diamond Lake near Bill's Pizza, approved variances for the trees at Bundeline Park uh, District Golf Course, sewer and water connections for the future of the crossings of Mundelein subdivision and for lot coverage for a driveway at 132 East Maple. Two professional services, services agreements were approved for the Cortland Park Master Plan and the downtown development by K. Nadia. The board approved a design and build agreement concerning phosphorus removal at the wastewater treatment plant, awarded a bid for a painting project, and approved wetland deed restrictions at the new public works and engineering facility. Additionally, the board approved a professional services agreement for design coordination and easement preparation for the Metro Overpass walkway at McKinley Avenue. Authorized an engineering services agreement for phase one and two of the East Holly Street improvements and approved a master pole agreement with new singular wireless or AT&T for a cellular site on a street lamp. In the omnibus vote list, which is voted on all at once, the board approved a big grant for the amount of $35,330.50, approved a purchase order for $46,200, a purchase order for $140,000, and payment in the amount of $46,000. I'm sorry, $46,666.66 for the Mundelein Crossing Economic Incentive Agreement, a purchase order for the amount of $310,000 and payment of that of $114,418.41 for tax sharing with Jewel Food Stores, a purchase order for $39,159, I'm sorry, $59,000.60 for annual finance and utility billing software, a purchase order and payment of $36,701.59 for Lake Holly Mundelein LLC for property and sales tax rebate, a purchase order and payment of $26,638.40 for June 2019 legal services. Purchase order in the amount of $75,437 for fiscal year 2020 roadway improvement programs at Banbury Road Construction. And lastly, approved a purchase order and payment in the amount of $366,284.50 for Metro Park. I'm sorry, the Metro Parking Lot Resurfacing and Replacement Striping and Numbering. There were no village staff reports and the meeting recessed into a closed session at 8.54. My name is Eric Schwenk and that's your Mundelein Minute, a slightly longer than a one minute recap of the Mundelein Village Board meeting on, on, I'm sorry, on August 12, 2019. Please leave any questions or comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.